Welcome to your Daily Smash for Thursday, February 29th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. It is Leap Day. This is our first show ever on a Leap Day. Why is there Leap Days? To keep the calendar on track with the sun and the movement of the planets, I think. Oh. I see. I never knew that. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Richard Lewis. Sad news. Um, that guy, I love him. I love Richard Lewis. It's a funny comedian. My sister actually was friends with him when she lived in L.A. Uh -huh. She worked at a radio station. I think the, the DJ she worked for was good friends with Richard Lewis. He would come in there all the time. Oh, really? And he, I can't remember if he would sit on her lap or she would sit on his lap, but I... I remember her saying it was a little uncomfortable. Like it was just like he was he like really liked her. Really? Yeah, and she had a boyfriend at the time. Oh wow! Well, she shut yeah. out with him. We went to <laughs> his house with our friend Roman James. Oh my God! His, he, that Richard guy, Lewis. That guy's like close to a, like half. He's worth like a half a billion dollars. Who knew? I, I had I don't know how, but his house was sick in a real like one of the highest of high. The end. highest of the highest of the highest. Like that uh, neighborhood. Who, um, what's her face? I forget the name of that neighborhood. The, it's um, like, like uh, it's like the highest of the high. Like the, Beverly no, like something. Adele lives in there. Um, um, Didn't Sylvester Stallone Sylvester have a Sylvester house? Stallone had a house. Oh, in there. Uh, Wesley Snipes or well, somebody yeah. like that. Um, but um, like this house, I mean, it is like the top of the top of the top. Like you, you have to get through two guards, and they have guns to get into this, like automatic weapons. And I'm like, I had no idea Richard Lewis was that loaded. And Roman's building a house in there. And he wouldn't say who it was for. It might be some Russian oligarch. The yeah. thing was insane, like a 100,000 square foot house. Like a huge 30 car garage downstairs. It was insane, that place. Yeah. Anyway, um, we did want to also weigh in on a, on a hot topic here. Wait, 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 real quick with Richard Lewis. I, we, but we've been starting the new season of Richard Lewis. Oh, you mean and Curb Your and Enthusiasm. And Kirby, Daz, yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm. I love Curb Your Enthusiasm. I've watched every single episode since day one. Yeah. And, uh, he was talking about to. He was like, "If I die, I'm gonna leave a lot of money to you." Oh yeah, that's right. They had a skit about that. Him and Larry David were talking. And about. And then they had another skit of him like trying to find a kidney. Like he's been sick for a long time. Yeah, well, he never looked healthy. Well, he was an alcoholic before he was. Oh really? Drug. I didn't know oh, that. Oh yeah, but he funny guy. Funny, funny, and he, funny. Him guy. and Larry obviously were close. You know, they had a great rapport. I'm sure he's taking it really hard, Larry. Yeah. Okay, so uh, got to switch gears here. We got a lot to cover. We heard from, we talked about silencing people, the, the nasty comments. We, we said we were well, going to start hiding Harold, them. Harold the dog has been kind of a troll here and there for a long time. Okay. So I, I get to know these people because that they're the same people all the time coming, you know, saying nasty things a mm -hmm. lot. Harold mm -hmm. the dog is one of them. Now, Harold the dog has been... Can you tell me if you're a boy or a girl? Because you watch every morning. Thank you for that. Um, but I've kept you. I haven't silenced you because you've been nice lately. Um, so today he wrote... So now if somebody... I don't think it's a he. I think it's a she. So today she wrote. Today this person, Harold Dog, wrote. So now if somebody posts something you don't like or agree with, they are a troll and you block them. What happened to free speech, Kelly? You just joined the cancel culture that you process, I think they meant profess to hate. You're going woke. There's a couple of grammatical errors in here. Well, first help. of all, you're obviously, yeah, you, uh, you write grammatical very, errors all the time, so okay. uh, it's very hard to read your stuff, Harold the Dog. Sorry. Sorry. Can I write what I wrote back? Oh, yeah. Not true. We're just hiding the nasty, hateful comments. We can agree to disagree as long as everyone is cordial, but we do not have to put up with abuse on our own channel. That's what I wrote back. And, and then we, Kelly had a very good well, point. So then I said to Rick, because Rick was reading them, um, and I said to Rick, I go, so when you see these, you get to know these people, like Harold mm -hmm. the Dog, mm -hmm. like Sue Boy. Like, uh, I, like, uh, you don't have to name Le it. Lesti Castillo, okay? And most of them either have a dog picture of, of themselves. They never have their profile pictures because they're chicken shit, okay? Uh -huh. So they they repeatedly write they nasty re things. And so if you click on their on their profile or whatever, you can see the laundry list of bad comments on YouTube. It shows all the comments they made. It shows made. all the comments that they made. Mm -hmm. If you click on their little profile, you right. can see all of them. So I said to Rick. I don't have to put up with cyberbullying, okay? Mm -hmm. When you keep going after me and saying hateful comments over and over, that is not 
That is not free that free speech. Well, no, no, no. I okay. don't need to be harassed. Right. There it's are harassment. laws against that, okay? At Correct. this juncture, you can say whatever you want, fine. But when it's repeatedly over and over again. Negative and, and nasty. Negative and nasty. It's my channel. I can uh -huh. have it the way I want. I'm not going woke. That's ridiculous, okay? Yeah. And obviously, you're not that bright. And I don't have to put up with the, the, the nastiness. And it, I don't have to put up with the trolls. And I don't have to put up with cyber, cyber right. bullying. And I don't have to put up with uh, uh, that. I, I don't I could have not to. have said it better myself, honey. It's that this is our house. This is our page. This is our channel. And... We don't have to put up with that kind of behavior, and we won't. So and, and, if you want to be nasty and be a jerk, well, then, yeah, we're going to silence you. If you want to have an honest conversation, like back and forth, we can agree to disagree. That yes. was my point. Right. So that's enough on that. Uh, we've been moving. This is day three. Both of us, once again, showered for you because we smelled. Uh -huh. uh, a lot of nonsense going on. Uh, issues that, you know, growing pains, perhaps, moving pains. Well, there's another leak in this house. In the new yep. house, there's a leak in the ceiling. and <laughs> Another effing leak. I and mean, it's, it's not even raining It, it outside. never rains here. So uh, it was the realtor who I called. No, no, the, have a, the house manager. managers were a, a little slow, I thought, to, you know, to the task. We had a plumber coming tomorrow morning, and I fixed that. So now one's coming soon. But I called the broker and she said, well, is the air conditioning on? And I didn't even know where the thing was. We haven't moved in yet. So uh, I went and found the control and sure enough, the AC was on. And you actually said something about it being on earlier. Yeah, I'm like, why is the air conditioning on? I didn't here? notice it and we were in and out. But when I went back over there, I found that, that the leak had gotten worse. And it was, the top of the stairs is leaking into a bucket. I put a, a. It was a good idea to bring that other bucket bucket over there. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the one who told him to go back. <laughs> she did. Uh. I went back. It, I, maybe I got ahead of myself. We found it leaking early this afternoon. Called in. They hired a plumber. Went back at around six, and it was worse. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Someone should have been here already. So someone's coming. Okay. The point of the story was it was our broker who said check the AC and turn it off. Hopefully it was some overflow or something. And anyway, that's going on. Uh, <laughs> well, you're gonna have to have that air that fixed because you're gonna be working, having your own office, and you're gonna have you're hot all the time. You run, he sweats a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna need that AC. Uh huh. But uh, Thursday we're renting a box truck. <laughs> we're gonna move more furniture ourselves before the movers get here Friday. <laughs> we want to get Kelly's closet set up. We are still selling pickleballs. We still have uh, four giant bags left of boxes of balls. And we're selling them at our cost, so it's three boxes for 10 bucks. Thank you guys for Rick buying Kelly those. RickKellyShow.com. Yeah. I'm saying thank you so much for getting these off our hands. They're flying out the door. And we're not making money on it, we're just breaking even. And you're getting a deal. Three boxes for 10 bucks. Yeah. RickKellyShow.com. You want to talk about Ilya Wine? Oh. Yeah. Ilya Wine. It's Ilya Thursday. It's Ilya Thursday. Look, we match the labels. Yes, we do. Look at us. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold one. You can hold that one and they can make, make out. Uh -huh. uh, Ilya Wine is uh, designed in New York, but made in Spain with Spanish grapes. And I would love a glass, as Kelly said to me oh, earlier. I want a, a one so bad right now. <laughs> well, I want one so bad. I mean, I'm like. I think it's been two weeks. It's been, it's been 14 two weeks. days. It's 14 today, days. Yeah, I think it's actually this day 15 right now. Or day 15. Going on 16. Yeah. Uh, anyway, if we were drinking, we'd be drinking Ilya I wine. I want some of this so bad. Go to Ilya.com, order three bottles, you get free shipping. And there are lots of delicious varieties. Uh, the Moscatel Macabeo is very good. The Roble Red, very good. The Chardonnay is good. The Rosé is good. Next year, I'm not doing this. Doing what? Giving us up for Lent next year. Oh, you're not going to give up alcohol? No, I'm going to do dry January, and okay. then and then I'm going to give up meat. Layla also has a candle, and she loves... We love this candle. Mm. So, if you buy wine, you'll be automatically be registered for a free year subscription to her wine club, where you'll get free wine every month. So, that's the deal. Go to ilia.com and support a wonderful lady and a small, wonderful small business.
we talked about the Andy Cohen lawsuit yesterday. And we got some comments on that, and we got some other comments, not just about the thing we talked about earlier. So spot on, uh, the lowdown wrote, so spot on highlighting how Leah was Andy's golden girl, how it bit them in the ass. So then on my group with the lowdown, she showed that they're going to have this girl, Carlton. She was on for one season, a one and done. Yeah. And they're like, why do they have these duds on these Ultimate Girls trips? Yeah. Why do they have so many duds on there? It's ridiculous. That's what they're doing and not... We shouldn't talk about this. People uh-huh. are going to get mad at us. Janet Shepard, 286. You two should have a talk show. So much fun and you both crack me up. Ah, thanks, Janet. H- haters, just don't watch Rick and Kelly and, go, then, and then go comment that you're annoyed. I know. I'll, get off their jock, LOL. <laughs> and, it's, it's this, and then they write it over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, the, it's ridiculous. Marie Eakin said, Kelly and Rick, you are on a good roll. Winning ticket, new place, lucky horseshoe, roll with it and let the good times roll. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) And then Sally Cunningham, I knew one of you would know. Horseshoes always point up for luck. Someone said down. No. To hold. (laughs) Really? Yeah, to hold it in. To hold the goodness in. Oh, now which one is it? it? (laughs) So you have to have it up like this. Jay Goldfarb said, Jeff Lewis, watch what happens live. He'd be great. I always thought Kate Chastain would be good, but no match for Andy or Jeff. Kate Chastain? How is Kate Chastain doesn't, she doesn't have any, she's, no. she, she was a stew on a boat. Okay. This Sorry. person thought they'd be a great host. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, she's funny, I guess, but I don't know if she has any experience in like interviewing people. And yeah. Being it's harder than it looks, people. Yeah. Then he wrote, Andy needs to be charged, and, or she, Andy needs to be charged and reprimanded for everything he's done on, off camera. I'll be waiting for your comments. I don't know about charged, but. I don't think he did anything wrong. Well. What did he do? It sounds like he did a lot of things wrong. I mean, what did he do that he would be charged with? Like charged like. Yeah, no, I, I say, I'm saying I don't think he should be charged, but I think anyone in his position would have been fired by now. And any other corporation in America, they would have been fired. Oh, yeah. I, my prediction is he's negotiating an exit right now. Oh, the, he always is good at these. The, I told you Kelly this so last night. You are so good at these. I'm, I'm guessing. Rick, Rick is always good at these. His okay. agent and his lawyers are working with Bravo's agent lawyers, NBC Universal's agent lawyers, and they're coming up with a buyout. They're, they're coming like, up. We can't, we can't have this. We can't. Because if, if it goes to trial, like, we are going to testify that he did or didn't do drugs, and they're going to call witnesses, and then they're perjuring themselves if they lie. It's never going to trial. The lawsuit's been filed. They're going to have to settle it. And in in the process of settling the lawsuit, Andy, my prediction, he's going to negotiate his exit from Bravo. That's what I think is going to happen. It it seems like NBC Universal, if I did anything wrong, they would go crazy. Crazy oh, on me. I, I mean, not yeah. cuckoo. Oh yeah. Okay. The like, phone how would be rain off the hook. How are they not going cuckoo? <laughs> they must be with this bad press. Wait, I have to get to another topic though. Okay. Uh, this is funny because remember we talked about how we have a white washing machine and a black dryer now. Right. A lot of you said that you also in your family or you have different colored washer dryers. There actually, it's a thing. Okay. But it's usually because one breaks and then the store doesn't have the matching thing. So like one guy has a Samsung and an LG. Someone else has a 30-year-old washer and a 50-year-old dryer. You know, like they're yeah. different colors. It's just, there are a few of you who said that. But uh, this person, Nikki Santoro Goulash, <laughs> said, stay tuned. You will be trendsetters with a different colored washer and dryer. We will be seeing it on makeover shows and in decorating <laughs> magazines. All the best for the move. Gosh, I hope that's true. I hope that's <laughs> that true. That would be so funny. I'll claim it. I don't care. Sharon Alu. Sharon all you. Y'all are so cute together. Always treat each other with respect and compassion and never stop laughing. I believe you will beat those Orange County odds and stay together. Yeah. Let's do this. (laughs) Let's stay together. Hilarious also wrote, the dog your friend rescued is a Newfoundland. Yes, it is a Newfoundland. I don't know why we... She told us Newfoundland. I'm terrible with names. I am new- <laughs> <laughs> But if the dog's name is Willow, I remember that. No, it is a Newfoundland. And everyone's like, that dog is a Newfoundland. Well, this person also sent a quote from somewhere. 
about what a Newfoundland is. A large breed working dog. They excel at water rescue, life saving, because of their muscular build, thick double coat, webbed paws, and swimming abilities. Oh my. It can be a water rescue dog. I love that. They're so cute, <laughs> those dogs. Gene, they must be like cold, right? I don't they know must about, like I mean, the cold. It's a, it's a bear. It's this big. Yeah. It's a giant. Could you imagine those poops? Can you imagine if you climbed I've never had a one? big dog like that. Oh yeah, the poops are huge. And the, what if he wants to climb up in bed and sleep in the bed like the little like Benji used to do? And he weighs two hundred and eighty pounds. Well, she had. Did you see the picture? And Candace <laughs> had. It's on the. Was on the bed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but I did not see that. Gene Bunny said, "This show just keeps getting better and better." Oh, Gene Bunny. Thanks, Gene Bunny. Jenny Macuro, Macuro, Macuro. Great show. Love the PJs. And side note, you two inspired me to give up alcohol for Lent, too. Isn't it hard, Jenny? If Rick and Kelly can do it, dot, dot, dot. Day 14, she said. So. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Yeah. This is actually Day 15. 15. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, I'm, and it's counting, like, right? Um, You know what? It's easier. I think it's been easier this time than last time. Now, I have no idea why. Because we're not going out or like as much, I don't think. Or like and we, and we have a day, a job every day, and yeah. we're moving, so we're focused on tasks. Right. Uh, yeah. Last time we went out a lot. Yeah. Even though we weren't drinking. <laughs> and it's temptation. I agree. Um, this user with letters and numbers said, I actually think the white washer and black dryer look cool together. <laughs> Me thinks you might have started a trend. Kelly, your PJs are very pretty. Continued luck on your move. Oh, so sweet. And then this one had a black and white. And white. Uh, Sheila O'Neill. Okay, I'll say it. Your show is awesome. <gasps> Yay! Oh, Sheila. See? Uh, happy. Uh, uh, oh, Sheila. I love that song. That was one of my favorites. Calm I used down. To, I used to DJ with that song. Why? Did you like a Sheila? No, I don't know if I ever knew a Sheila. I can't think. I mean, it must have been work somewhere somehow. It must have run into a Sheila somewhere. I've known a Sheila. You have? Mm-hmm. Jean Lenhart. No on the washer dryer. Leave it. Love it. I have black and white dining chairs, so I'm inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then Jackie Munoz. I have a brown and white. LOL. I refuse to get rid of the brown dryer. It's like 100 years old and runs great. Isn't that funny how crappy things are <laughs> yeah. nowadays? My dad had a snowblower. That his dad had given him, that his dad bought in Staten Island, New York, like I think in like 1950. And as of like five years ago, my dad was still using the snowblower. It was at that point, you know, like 70 years old or something. Right. And I said to my dad, like, you should write the company and tell him. You have a 70 year old snowblower, it still works great, self propelled. The company is still in business. He wrote a letter and they sent him back like a hat with a generic thank you. And that was it. I'm like, that. see, now that would have been a TV commercial if I was running that company. Yeah. Anyway, okay, that's all that. Uh, I do have one in the news, a brief in the news item. In the news. It's not good news for Texas. And I just want to give a, a shout out to Texas. Kelly and I love Texas. I love Texas. Don't mess a, with Texas. They're having a mess. <laughs> do you have exes in Texas? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, there's a cluster of wildfires scorching Ooh. the Texas panhandle. And that includes a blaze that grew into one of the largest in state history. So there are many square miles that have been burned and many more threatened. It's jumped into the neighboring Oklahoma. The fire, it's now larger, and this is dated by the time you hear it. It's larger than the state of Rhode Island and was only 3% contained as of about... 5 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Pacific time. It's it's it could become the largest fire in the history of the state. So wow. good luck. Uh, oh, be man. safe. You know, take precautions. And That's so so. Like anytime there's a fire, bad news. Bad news. Bears. Should we talk about Kula's gift? She sent <gasps> us this box full of baked goods. It's right behind us. Kula, you spent so much money on packaging. You do not have to do that. Show them, what, show them what we got, baby. Oh, it's all wrapped up nice and like, look at this. Oh, my god. Tell them about her bakery. Okay, so um, Fornos, oh, did I say that right? Yeah. Fornos is one of my favorite restaurants. Kula is a patron smasher. and Her we, restaurant is called Mykonos, right? Right. And then this is the bakery. Yes. And she's got, I think she's got three restaurants mm -hmm. on in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Uh 
the best food ever. Harry, my friend Harry lives in Tampa. He knows her and loves her, and I, it's just, she's awesome. She took such good care of us. I, oh, this I, is all my tape favorite though. thing is the baklava. Oh, what's that? This um, is something else. This orange. is a uh, kukulakalika. Oh, let me just finish opening it. Anyway, cool. Oh. Thank you so much. Um, I don't want to get fat. I'm going to try everything. We have to give some to Cousin Tony. Oh, oh our next oh, I door like neighbor. This. Wait, so. I love this. Isn't that like biscotti? Wait, can you tell them the story? I love biscotti with coffee. Can, can what story? About Ben, our, ne our neighbor. That's a good story because his oh. mom watches us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, Ben, he, he tore up his, I think his ankle snowboarding and mm. we're moving so i was like hey can you keep we, we talked to him a bunch of times i said can you uh keep an eye if we get any packages and let me know i get we switch phone numbers swap phone numbers and he goes yeah funny story uh, i was talking to my mom he's from new jersey oh that's the plumber hold on okay real quick that was uh the plumber and they're going to the house now they'll be there in 15 minutes mm. so so we gotta wrap this i apologize cool we, we really appreciate we got that. baklava my mexican wedding cookies or you would say greek wedding cookies I love those almond cookies. I'm, oh man! Oh, I want the almond cookies. So we got to run over to the house. Okay. But we'll, we can report back on these again tomorrow. <laughs> um, and and thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Oh, the, the story with the neighbor. Uh, he oh, yeah. said that his mom told him, "Oh, hey, I'm watching this show with this couple, and they're in Newport Beach. Uh, Rick and Kelly or Daily Smash." And he goes, "He goes, mom." <laughs> <laughs> they live right across the street. That that gray house you see in the background, that's my house. <laughs> He's from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Hi, funny. Mom. Thanks for watching. Thanks. I don't know your name, but uh, yeah. your son's a great great guy, and um, we appreciate you watching. Yeah. All my friends that come over go, ooh, who's that guy? He's hot. Oh, really? You know they do. Are they, were like, they talking about me? They're talking about Ben. Oh, okay. Good for him. Yeah. All, All right. right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>